Hey guys, and welcome to my long promised closet update. If you've been watching my clothing and accessory series um, that I have been posting over the past few months, then you'll know that I was kind of leading up to this and I finally have it all done. I did a major purge of my wardrobe this year. Um, actually, the donation truck just came and picked up, I think I had eight like extra large trash bags full of clothes and like bags of accessories and boxes and other things as well. So I had a lot to give away. It feels really good. Um, and I just, I opened a lot of space up in the closet. Um, I will tell you that I didn't change anything structurally in the closet. Um, when I, when we moved into this house seven years ago, I designed and installed this closet using Alpha. And I did it all myself, which is what I love about Alpha. It's so customizable. The people at the container store will help you. They're really nice at that. You can even have them install it um, for a fee or you can do it yourself, and I did it myself. I've done all of my closets myself, and no problemo. Um, but I just really like that I could just make it what I want, and it's easy to change around. Like, once you have the um, bracket in the wall and the standards hung, you can hang your shelves and closet rods however you want. So it's easy to change around, and I thought I was going to change it around, but ultimately I decided to stick with the same structure I have had in here for the last few years because it's just it really does function um, for us and our needs right now uh, but I did like I say go through my wardrobe like with a fine comb <laughs> and uh, I weeded a lot of things out and it just really felt like I tidied up mostly um, so I'm gonna give you a tour today and take you through um, all the parts of the closet. It's a very big closet. Um, we're very lucky to have such ample space. We can fit a lot more in here than we do, um, but we have the luxury of space right now, so I just spread all of our things out so the closet looks full and not half empty. And I utilize the space um, kind of depending on our needs. Um, and that's basically how I organize like the main parts of the closet. So enough jibber jabber, let's get in. I'm going to show you a big long tour. I go in very detailed. So um, yeah, let's, uh, let's go in there. In case you're new and just haven't seen other videos where I've shown our bedroom, just to orient you guys, uh, our master closet is in our master bedroom. So this is what our bedroom looks like. I have shared it before in other videos. Um, but the furniture is mostly from Pottery Barn and um, it's a beautiful room and we really love it. And the closet is right sort of in the entryway to our room. So the door, the hallway is right here and the door to, the, um, to our room is right there. And this is our closet and there is my dog Winnie. You gonna give a tour? You gonna give a tour? It's like, yeah. <laughs> Um, so let, let's go in there. When you turn to look at the closet, it looks like this. Um, it has a door, and you can see why I call it my bowling alley closet, because it is long and narrow, like a bowling alley. In fact, you could probably set up some pins down there and have at it, but we don't do that. <laughs> we use it as a closet. Um, so there's ample, ample room in here, and I could fit a lot more clothes in here, which I up until recently did, if you can tell by the eight bags of clothes that I'm giving away. Um, but I really like the way I have it set up now um, and everything's kind of spaced nicely. It doesn't seem cluttered or too stuffed or anything and it's perfect. So I'm going to take you through piece by piece here. I'm going to start off with my husband's section. Like I said, the general layout of the closet hasn't changed since I originally designed and installed the Alpha. Um, but I'll pan up for you guys. I did move some things over to his very tippy top shelf. Then labeled bins up there. Some of those things were up there already. But basically we have some clothes of Don's that are stored away for now as well as um, like sports clothing like for specific teams and things like if we ever go to a game which we don't do very often but we have some like Cubs and Bears gear and then I've got some holiday clothing in these top three bins on the right so Christmas, Halloween, St. Patrick's Day um, and they're separated by you know holiday and then Don's shirts I did color coordinate because as you can tell he loves his golf shirts and he has them in every shade of the rainbow, rainbow except for pink and purple he's wearing his orange shirt 
today he's out golfing right now actually I'm filming this on a Sunday afternoon uh, so that's basically the first half of his top hanging portion is all of his golf shirts in color coordinated and then the second half are his more dressy shirts so he has Tommy Bahama shirts and then his dress long sleeve button downs and then his um, blazers and then his suits I keep in their original garment bags sort of in the back there because he doesn't wear those that often if we travel down to the bottom rack here I have this little tie rack thing this is also alpha he doesn't have that many ties because Don has never worked at a job where he's had to wear a tie all of his jobs have been more polo shirt oriented um, and we've got his sweatshirts a couple pair of dress pants that are too big for him now and I'm not sure if we should keep them or give them away so they're just kind of in the back there hanging out and then his pants. Um, he doesn't, you know, he works from home. He doesn't wear a large, large variety of pants. We've got some dress pants, some like less dressy pants, and then his jeans. Just turn to the side here. I have a meditation pillow on the floor there, just tucked on the bottom, which I don't use very often. But we do have this one um, shelving unit on still on Don's side. On the floor here, I have an L.L. Bean tote. That's where we keep our dry cleaning. Um, and then I've got four men's shoe boxes um, for Don's dress shoes. Um, I just gave away his old pair of brown dress shoes and I need to buy him a new pair which is why there's one empty bin. And then that bin on the left um, bottom there is uh, for his like extra t-shirts and handkerchiefs and cufflinks, things he doesn't wear that much but it's like extra undershirts, extra sh socks, just to keep them all in one place. And then that bin at the bottom, I'm actually going to pull out for you um, in a minute, but that has all my gym bags in it. And then this is where Don keeps the majority of his folded clothing because he just prefers it this way. So we have his t-shirts, and I don't get too crazy about keeping them perfectly folded because he rifles through them every day. Um, and then his sweaters, I have a couple of cedar blocks underneath them. We have never had a problem with moth moths up to this point, but cedar blocks help with that. And then his shorts I just have in two piles between cargo shorts and regular shorts. And then he has a little alpha belt rack which I just drilled into the wall again from when I installed the closet seven years ago, but with his belts. And then we have some um, seashell necklaces from our honeymoon as well as a special five-year anniversary trip we took to Bora Bora. So previously I just had my gym bags um, loose on this bottom shelf but I go through phases with going to the gym and I just wanted to have them in a bin because they just kind of look floppy and I don't need to have them out all of the time. Um, I have two Lululemon gym bags I've had for years. One is for when I'm in a swimming phase, that's the purple one, and one's for just like all other kind of regular gym stuff. I also have a kickboard, some locks and stuff in there. Just keeps it all in one place. Don didn't need the shelf so um, he was happy to let me use it for my gym stuff. There's this little partition here in the closet um, which kind of just makes it easy to make this Don side because I put in deeper shelves. These are 18 inch shelves instead of 12 inch which I use on my side which works for his, you know, he's got, you know, nice broad shoulders so um, works better for his clothing anyway. And it's a perfect place to just like lean our little closet stool up against. That's from the container store. I don't know if they still carry that but if they do I will link it. And then I have a little hat rack still there. He's wearing one of his hats right now, but just keeps them neat and in one place for him to find easily. So now we're going to look at my side, which is obviously a lot more ample space. But Don has more space than he needs, and he's very happy with it. I have more things than he does, so it makes sense that I'm taking up more space in the closet. But we have no lack for space in here, you guys. Uh, so on the back of the door, I just have my different robes and things um, that I don't wear all the time. I keep the robes that I wear most often in our bathroom. Um little linen closet. I did do a little uh, cleaning up of my shoe area here. Um, it's pretty much set up the same but it just feels a lot neater to me. At the top I have the shoe boxes of the more expensive shoes that I wanted to keep the boxes of, so just a few pairs. And then I have a couple of plastic shoe bins, one with all my different um, sneaker insoles because I take those out and put in my own custom orthotics as well as molds of my feet. Plaster molds of my feet, yep. I have trouble feet, so I have to have orthotics made. They gave me the molds to my feet, and so I keep these, and I said, okay. So I did. Uh, just here on the back wall, I have another hat rack just for my hats, drilled right into the wall. I don't wear hats that often, but for some exercising and golf and things, so I have to have them organized by type and what I wear them for. 
And I actually moved most of my belts to an another area of the closet, which I'll get into a little bit later, so I can make room for my flip-flop collection. I have quite like an array of flip-flops, and I have two of these flip-flop hangers. I had bought them at the container store years ago. I don't know if they still carry them. I don't, but they're a really cool little invention. Um, so I just have my like kind of everyday normal flip-flops on the one on the left, and my more fancy dancy flip-flops on the one on the right. And there's actually room for two more pairs of flip-flops on each set. Um, but I think that's plenty of flip-flops for one girl to have. Um, but I just like the way that they're there, they're out of the way, but they're easy to see and, and access. And then I, ha I don't wear belts very often, you guys, so I just keep them kind of in the back there. Um, those are my pants or shorts belts. Like, like belts that I would wear with pants or shorts, not necessarily with dresses, although I could wear them with dresses, and I just have them organized by type of belt. If you watched my last closet organization video, which was from a few years ago, this will look pretty familiar. Um, I just really like the way this is, so I didn't feel a need to change it. I just really went through my shoe collection and got rid of things I didn't need. I'll just run through it quickly with you. I'm using the Container Store shoe boxes. Um, at the top there, on the double layer, those are all my dressy dress shoes. Um, and then I have my kind of summer dress shoes on the next shelf down, and then we move into two rows of flats. Um, there's a couple empty boxes there. And then on the next row down, there's some more sandaly kinds of shoes that aren't necessarily dressy. And then on this bottom one, I have sort of everyday shoes that don't I don't think need to be in boxes. I did add this one cute little box here with my shoe polish and little like shoe insert things. It's just kind of a shoe accessories bin. I was gonna label it, but my label maker ran out of the right tape, uh, the size tape that I use. So I'm gonna label that once I have that tape back in stock like I'm a store back in stock. And then this is the same too, my boots. Um, I have my Uggs all with um, boot shapers from the container store. Um, I use those boot shapers are great because you can use them standing like I do there or hanging like I do down here. I love my hanging boots. It just keeps them nice and they're shaped and they're off the floor and they're easy to see and access. Um, and, I, and I just, I have them organized by color. Um, and then on the black ones, there's ones at the end there are heels. I actually don't wear those last two pairs very often, but they're nice boots, so I don't, I'm having trouble getting rid of them, even though I don't wear the heeled boots all that often. Most of my boots are flat. Um, so that's my shoe section, and I just really, every time I look at it, I just get happy. So you see, I didn't change the, um, I guess the structure of the closet here either. I didn't really change the structure anywhere, to be honest. I just kind of changed, I just kind of cleaned it up and organized it a little bit tighter, I guess I would say. Not not like I fit in more stuff, but I just feel like it's neater. Um, so I still have these linen sweater boxes. These were from the container store. I know they still sell them, except now they I went through my sweater collection like crazy. I got rid of more than half of my sweaters that I'd had for many years and I just wasn't wearing anymore. Um, so now it's half sweaters and then half pants. I got really tired of having hanging pants. I just found it annoying. So I have all of my jeans um, and kind of jean-like pants now in the bottom row. Um, but just to walk you through these, at the very tippy top I have pashminas on the right and kind of decorative cardigans on the left. In the middle there I have my cashmere sweaters, I have v-necks on the left and turtlenecks on the right, and then I have my summer kind of lighter weight sweaters on the right there, and my cashmere cardigans on the left, mostly black, because you can't see them, and then my jeans. In this bin right here on the left I have my capri jeans, and then on the right I have um, my like legging like pants, um, like pixie pants from J. Crew, and some jeggings that are solid colors from American Eagle Outfitters. And on the bottom there, I have my um, skinny jeans on the left and my bootcut jeans on the right. I did change the way I have my clothing set up just a little bit. I still have my sweatshirts here in the front. You can see I weeded through my sweatshirts again. I got rid of a lot of sweatshirts that were just, you know. I kind of grew out of um, maturity-wise, I guess. I'm not sure. I just didn't, wasn't wearing them that much anymore. So I have all my hoodies in the front here. And then I have uh, my non-hooded sweatshirts. And then I have my warm, warmer sweatshirts. So for winter, these are my fleeces and my line sweatshirts. I have my little puffy vests and things. And then I have all of my sports gear here. This is where my pants used to be. I got rid of a whole lot of pants as well that I just wasn't wearing anymore. Um, but this is all my cold weather running gear. Um, 
I just like to keep it hanging because it's kind of bulky to put it into a drawer. And then I have my golf wear and tennis wear as well. Moving right along, I have a few pairs of pants, not many. They're a little dark, so it's hard to see, but I've got a pair of corduroys and a couple of mini pants from J. Crew, And then I have my skirts. And I think I mentioned this in my closet clean-out video, um, but I have flipped the hangers. You can see all of my hangers I have hooked over the rod. These I've hooked backwards um, because I haven't worn skirts in a really long time, and I'm giving it a year. And if I don't wear the skirts, I'll know because the hangers will still be backwards, and then I can give them away because it means I'm not really going to wear those anymore. So that's a tip I picked up somewhere. If you um, are kind of hesitant to give some things away, you're not sure how often you're really going to wear it, if you flip the hanger over backwards, then you can kind of see if you wear it or not. There is a shelf um, put in, you know, obviously so that there can be a rod. I don't keep anything on the shelf. I have one uh, rumpus bin on the end there. Um, that I cleared out that used to have things on a shelf further down in the closet, but there's nothing in it right now, but it just was a place to put it. And then I have my little uh, folders. These are little folding um, helpers, aids, I guess, from the container store. They're great when I'm folding up things to, like sweaters, to put in my sweater boxes. The only other time I really use those is when I'm packing and I want things pretty um, precisely folded for like wrinkly reasons, or if I'm trying to fit into tight packing but um, I don't use I just fold everything else by hand my shirts and tops here are pretty much organized in the same fashion as before I have my sleeveless shirts and my um, sleeved shirts and then my button downs kind of all in a row there and I don't color coordinate them I really just put them by fabric weight and type and style um, it just makes sense to me and then uh, you got to do what makes sense to you you know not necessarily what somebody else would do then I have all my kind of flyaway sweaters. Those are impossible to fold, so I find them easier to hang. And then at the very back here, I have my coats and jackets, so jean jackets and blazers and things of that nature. But you can see there is a ton of room. Like, I could totally squish up all of these clothes a lot. Um, you know, closer together on the rack as they were before and fit a lot more in, but I kind of don't want it to be any fuller than it is now. Um, I could fit all of these things pretty easily in a much smaller closet, uh, but I'm just taking advantage of the space because I have it, so why not? Next are my dresses, and I did a huge purge of my dresses as well. I still have a lot of dresses. I just love dresses, and we do go out a lot, um, and we go to a lot of like family functions and things where dresses are appropriate, so I wear them. I have a couple of cover-ups in the front here, and then my dresses are organized by, kind of by season. So I have my more summery dresses in the front. Um, I have my maxi dresses in the front here, because they hang longer, and they kind of just match up with how the skirts hang right next to them. Um, so there's a space in the bottom, and um, I envision putting a little bin down there for clothes that I'm going to get rid of. I just like to have a bin in my closet at all times for things where I can like pop clothes that I know that I'm not going to be wearing and kind of store them up until I have enough to give away. So I have a little purple crunch can kind of low rectangular bin I'm going to put down there. Um, but it's not there right now. So like I said, summery, you know, warmer weather dresses. Um, and again, I've organized them more by like style. So I have more casual dresses and then getting to fancier. And then these are kind of in the middle sort of could be any season, and then I have my more wintry dresses going down um, and ending with a very fancy, my one kind of like gowny dress. Again, a longer dress, uh, but it's up against the, uh, you know, the, the drawers there, so I feel like it doesn't take too much room off the floor like having a random long dress in the middle there would. This last part of my closet is what some might consider the most exciting. It's where I keep my handbags and accessories. Uh, I also have a mirror right there. I'm going to wave at you. Hi! Uh, <laughs> and my scarves and stuff. I'll get down there in a second. That's the same as when I did it last time I showed you. But uh, I did go through my collection and weed things out. Um, I'm going to go through the drawers here and kind of give you a look at each of them. Um, Basically, I just have my handbags by type and by size. So I've got my bigger tote style bags in this drawer at the bottom. And then these are more under the shoulder, uh, more rigid bags. And then I have crossbody bags. And these are um, hand bags, like hand, you know, with just a little hand handle. Uh, some more crossbody bags. 
see, room to grow. I will be having another uh, charity auction this fall. I'm um, giving away some handbags and some accessories and things. Not giving away. I'm selling them for charity. <laughs> That's better. Uh, some more kind of um, handheld uh, bags. These are all my little clutches and kind of dress bags. And then I have all my little longchamp topes, topes, totes, and um, some backpacks. I love these little alpha drawers. They're really great for storing this sort of thing. I've got all my wallets in the top here, as well as my mini walking pharmacy for my small bags and one little wristlet. Some extra little wristlet um, key fobby things like that. This one has all of my extra pouches. You guys know I love my little bags and pouches. Uh, this is where I keep the ones that I'm not using currently. Um, I try to keep only ones that I know I'm going to use or I think I'm going to use at some point. So these are ones that I have used or see myself using in the future. I have a couple that are specifically for cameras and then I have them kind of organized by size and function. What I've done with the top uh, two drawers here is a little bit different. Um, I've got these little accessory um, clear boxes from the container store. They're less than two bucks a pop. I think they're $1.79. So this drawer is for my walking pharmacy. If you're not familiar with what a walking pharmacy it is, it's basically what I call the little carry-all pouch I keep in my purse of on-the-go necessities that I just feel comfortable having with me. Um, for the, you know, most of the time. And I have a lot of kind of backups and additional options for those. So I just, six little boxes fit perfectly in this drawer. So that's what I did. And so you can see I've got lots of hand creams and tissues, beauty uh, backups, hair stuff, and then a couple of miscellaneous things. I've got, you know, just like some dental care, doggy bags, handkerchiefs, you know how it goes, all that stuff. And um, I just really like the way it all fits in there. And then this one um, down here, more of the same kind of setup, but it's for different purposes. This is just sort of smaller accessories. So I have some safety pins and regular pins for when I'm hemming something or trying to fix something. Sometimes a girl just needs a safety pin. Clothing care, that's like stain remover, special cashmere cleaner stuff. Scarves and extra hankies. All my little headphones. I've got sport headphones and like little earbuds and stuff. Just a place to keep them all so I know where they are. These are where I moved the rest of my belt collection because I had mostly um, belts that I use only for dresses. So I have them all in a little box. And then I have some decorative sashes, like little flowers and things that go with certain dresses. Um, I just wanted to keep in a little box, keep them kind of together and dust free. I still got my scarves here at the end. I have them organized basically by season mostly. So I've got my warmer weather scarves on the on the left here and then my cooler weather scarves on the right. These ones are a little more hidden because um, mostly in the cooler weather I wear, you know, my like winter scarves that I keep downstairs in our mud room. Um, but these are more decorative scarves. Um, so that works well for me. It keeps them where I can see them, but tucked out of the way as well. Above my little handbag station here, <laughs> I have these three, um, I don't know, are these wicker? They're just like boxes that I've got a long, long time ago. I think at Crate and Barrel, maybe about 10 years ago. I've had them for a really long time. And in one on the end there, I've got um, garment bags that go, you know, just like extra garment bags. And then I have watch boxes and jewelry boxes. It's just a place for me to keep those boxes of special pieces that I want to keep the boxes to, but I don't, you know, need to keep them in my vanity. So it's a good place for them. And then up top, I've just got a couple of long skinny bins not skinny but shallow that's it long shallow bins one with all my race gear in it so different race costumes and running gear for when i run half marathons and then also one bin dedicated entirely to disney world gear um so it's special shirts and tops and things and all of our, all of our little, like ponchos and little headgear and you know our ears and stuff so keep it all in one place um i don't need to access that year round so it makes sense to have it on a little bin and then the only other thing I really have on the top shelf here are a couple of backup um, pillows um, for when I have different bedding on my bed than I do now. I need different size, um, I have different size shams, so I just have those pillows there. Those are just merely, they're just purely decorative pillows. But you can see I've got quite a bit of space up there. It's actually over a foot, I believe, from the shelf to the feeling, ceiling. I think it's like 13 inches, so there's plenty of room to grow here. It's got the shelf over the uh, dresses as well. There's, there's just lots of space in this closet. Now, if we turn around, you'll see where I keep 
all of our travel gear. Um, I did reorganize this a little bit. I, I have some new suitcases. I have my new Erin Condren suitcases. So I got rid of a couple ones we weren't using anymore. Um, so I'll just run you through this really quick. But I think I'm going to do a separate video basically on all of this. But I've got my suitcases on the bottom shelf and then my wheeled duffels on this middle shelf here. As well as all of my carry-on bags. Don uses his backpack as a carry-on. He keeps that in his office. I have Winnie's travel bag over there and my little wheeled Vera Bradley carry-on there. I didn't really have a lot actually. Most of these, um, uh, these are trunks. Yes, that's what we call those. Trunks at the bottom. These were empty. We had these in our old condo where we had a storage locker in the garage and I had them in the storage locker um, for storage um, and they just fit really nicely under the closet so that's why I put them in here. Well now they're actually functioning. They have a purpose. Um, a couple of them are for travel. That one at the end has duffels and backpacks in it and that one has all my travel accessories. I moved those down um, from uh, soft sided bins I had them in before but I can show you that in the next you know that video I'm gonna do. This one is where I put all my hangers. We have a ton of hangers. I mean, we really got rid of a lot of stuff. I already had some backup hangers to begin with, but you can really see how many clothes I got rid of when I show you the hangers. Uh, so I'll pop in a little, little clip of that so you can see it. Yes, I know it's an obscene amount of hangers. I got rid of a lot of clothes, you guys. Like I said, I did have some backup hangers before, but got rid of a lot of clothes. Um, so I just have them stacked basically vertically by type of hanger. So if I need to access something, I can just pull this out and grab the hanger right off the top. And that one's basically empty. It's just easier to keep that one pushed up against the wall over there because it's harder to access than these other ones, which are easier to pull out and access. So room to grow. Always nice. I've still got my, uh, large reasonful polka dot totes here, except they have different, um, things in them now. I have a couple at the end uh, that have changed up a little bit. Well, I guess just this one uh, is for my humidifier. I'm not going to pull that out because it's kind of self-explanatory. We don't use that unless we're like sick or it's specially dry or something. We have humidifier built right into our um, heating system, so don't find we need it that much, but it's a nice humidifier, so I keep it in here. And then I've got my bin for Utah. That's where I pop anything that I want to be taking out to our uh, second home, our family vacation home in Utah. Uh, it's just a nice place to put those things. This bin is new. It's where I have all of my beach and pool stuff um, for travel or for just any old time. I'm going to a beach or a pool. And then I have my packing aids. Those are sort of special packing organizers and things. All of my packet cubes and packet envelopes by Eagle Creek are in one bin. And then I have all of my toilet travel toiletries in one bin. And then all of my carry-on items go in one bin. So previously I just stored them in one of my carry-ons, but I switch out what carry-on I use kind of frequently depending on my needs for the trip. So it made sense to just put the contents in one bin and I can just pull that out of the closet and pack it into whatever bag I'm using. And then at the end, Winnie's travel bin. Um, just where I keep her stuff that when I were taking her on a trip. I moved in a bunch of my lighting and filming equipment in here that is really bulky. I don't want to store it in the attic because it's not climate controlled and it's expensive, but I don't need to access it all the time, but I'd like to be able to access it some of the time. So I basically got a lot of lighting things that I'm not currently using um, and then some special tripods and things. They just fit really nicely up on this big tall shelf. And at the very end there, I've got my wedding dress and my wedding accessories and a sun hat that I'm thinking I want to somehow put on the wall. I, st I don't want to put it in a bin, so I think I'm going to somehow put it on the wall back there. I just don't know yet. Maybe with like a clip? That might be the thing to do. Like I said, um, I think I'm going to do a separate video showing you how I store all of my travel gear. So um, you can check that out maybe in a few weeks and, and see if you're interested in seeing that and that's basically my entire closet well i hope you guys enjoyed seeing my closet update it is like a breath of fresh air walking in here it wasn't really like cluttered or messy before um, but there were things in it that no longer I no longer wanted, no longer suited me, and I knew that if I got a lot of things out that I could really take some time and just kind of do some kind of fine-tuning with my organization. That's basically what I did for the most part. 
uh, and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I love that I can store my big bulky uh, photography and videography equipment in here um, so I don't have it like in my craft closet in my office where it was just like in the floor, like on the like standing on the floor and it just was hard to move around and stuff. So now that's all open too so this opened up a lot of space for me in there as well and um, yeah, I'm very excited about it. So I'm hoping to share with you my final video in this series um, next, which will be my vanity um, update, uh, where I show you my large vanity and how I store and organize my makeup and accessories like jewelry, of which I have quite a bit, a like, large collection of those things. Uh, so that will be my last video in the series, and um, then I'm going to embark on my uh, summer travel series uh, for the month of August. So you guys, if you're interested in that, you can check out my videos down the line. Um, thank you for watching this video. I appreciate your support, as always. And if you'd like to see um, more photos and links and things, head on over to my coordinating blog post, which has the link below. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.